T-minus two minutes, we continue to count down for Starship 15 flight. Talent load is complete in the liquid oxygen system on the Starship. Methane fuel load is also complete on the Starship. Welcome back everyone. It's been a hot minute, but uh, this last month has been a crunch of school for me. But we're done today and a whole bunch of stuff I hope to do, starting with this. So what do you know? They're launching again. Um, I didn't think it was worth my time to comment on a bunch of clouds and static, especially considering I had projects and stuff, but hopefully this one goes a little better. E minus one minute. All systems remain go for the flight of Starship 15. We're getting ready to disconnect the quick disconnect from the vehicle in preparation for flight. Thank you. Cloudy. It's cloudy there. Alright, here we go. Is it going to launch in light? Are they going to be able to land it? Come on, baby. Go, baby, go. Go sight. Nice view. There's the three. Oh, poof, and it's gone. Listen to that roar, though. B plus 30 seconds, Starship 15 is airborne as we get a view of the three Raptor engines as we're powering our way to 10 kilometers altitude in today's test flight. That's cool. It's like burned a hole in the clouds. That's really cool. This doesn't make sense. It's a hot gas. It's interesting how orange it looks, but I think that's just a... Just past one minute into flight. We're through two kilometers altitude. All three Raptor engines continuing to burn. Next major event, about one minute, is we will turn off the first of the three Raptor engines. Thank you, John. It looks like the skirt's a little bit more robust on this one, I don't know. This camera must be mounted right underneath one of the fins. Yep, looks like we glitched. Still sounds like it's gone. Coming up at T plus two minutes, uh, we appear to have uh, frozen the view from the engine cameras. However, the Raptor engine's continuing to perform, and we've got shutdown on engine three on time. Good, good. And there's not a lot to comment on when the screen is frozen, but... <clears throat> Here we go. Look at those pretty clouds. I spent most of uh, yesterday, or two two days ago, whatever day that was. I don't even know. It's the end of two school. Plus two minutes, 40 seconds. While we're trying to regain video Monday. from the vehicle, we continue to ascend. We have just passed the eight kilometer point in flight. Everything continues to look good on Starship 15. It does look good. I spent most of Monday looking up at clouds, and now I'm spending Wednesday looking down at clouds. That's kind of neat. A little plug for my storm chasing videos. I hope you all consider giving those a watch when you're done with watching this video. 
Hopefully we get something more to comment on. But it is a very pretty ship. It looks like they've expanded that area of heat heat shielding. You can see that little dark area. That's the Coming heat Coming up on three tiles. and a half minutes into flight. We're approaching the 10 kilometer altitude. We'll begin to hover here. We've had engine number two shut down on time. We'll now be moving into the hover with one engine. And then in a little bit, we will begin the flip over to horizontal position and begin our descent. But hopefully a ground camera will be able to bring us live <laughs> views of the flight. I hope so. Yeah, I can't imagine it's any better on any other stream because everyone's just seeing the clouds. Oh! -ho! Wow, we got a few frames there. Just past T plus four there minutes in the flight. We've got the views back from the Raptor engines. Don't jinx it, John. First rule of anything related to finicky things like engineering, don't jinx it. Here we go. Hmm. We get T plus four minutes, 34 seconds. While we're working to Ooh. regain video, it looks like we've got a shot looking back at the flaps on Starship. Oh, nice. We're in the horizontal defense, descent phase now. We're passing six kilometers. You can see that vent. A that's reminder, phase that's coming up as we get ready for landing, we will light three Raptor engines, flip the vehicle from horizontal to vertical. If things look good, we will shut down one Raptor engine and then possibly a second one and land on a single engine in the landing zone. Five minutes into flight, Raptor Possibly continuing to descend. We're coming up on three kilometers altitude. Nice. Oh, look, this is going to be sweet. Oh, come on. No. Give me the views. I want to see punching through the clouds. Oofta. They're having troubles. Oh, look at that cumulus tower there. A little bit of buoyancy. You can really see those uh, contrails, the tip vortices, that's what they're called. Oh. And we nice. have ignition. Oh boy. Starship heading back that to the lander. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Set her down. Set her down. Easy. Easy. Okay. Okay, I, th I think. I think that's good. Oh boy. Let's go, baby. They did it. Oh, they did it. Oh, they got a little fire though. Eee, that ain't good. And Starbase flight control has confirmed, <laughs> as you can see on the live video, we are down. The Starship has landed. Put We're that going through up. the safing sequence in the flight computer right now. We'll be back in a moment. Oh, come on, put it out. Vent that prop quick. Oh boy. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> it could blow up again. I hope not. Knock on wood. But it looks like they got it down softly this time. So that's that's progress. Very big progress. There go the fire extinguishers. Put it out. Shut off that line. Methane is... Well, if you've just joined us, you missed a great flight. Right now we have successfully landed in the landing zone, right on the concrete. You can see we do Very have good. a small fire at the base of the vehicle. <laughs> Not unusual with the methane fuel that we're carrying as we continue to work on the test vehicle design. You may be able to see uh, water going on the pad from the water cannons. But again, Starship 15 powered by three Raptor engines. We have successfully launched Boy. it from our facility in South Texas. Landed after a routine flight where we shut engines down on the way to 10 kilometers executed the horizontal unpowered descent and then we got some great views of the engines lighting up as we came down for a landing at a nice slow velocity onto yeah. the concrete landing pad 
really caught me by surprise. The past two weeks were. have been full of accomplishments by the SpaceX team. We've had the incredible launch of the Crew 2 astronauts oh, yeah. on the Crew Dragon Resilience. There we go. We've had the first nighttime landing and recovery of the four astronauts on Crew Dragon Endeavor's flight last Saturday night. That's also great. And two successful flights of Falcon 9 in the past seven days, hmm. each carrying 60 Starlink satellites successfully into orbit. And now the SpaceX Texas team has flown a test flight of Starship with a landing back in the landing zone here in Starbase, Texas. Nicely done, SpaceX. Also like to remember, this is the 60th anniversary of the oh. first American in space, astronaut Alan Shepard and yeah. his Mercury capsule. And SpaceX has landed Starship successfully on this date. Again, an outstanding period as we work to enable the future of human spaceflight an expansion into the solar system. And with that, we're going to conclude today's webcast with the views here of Starship 15. Thank you for joining us here at SpaceX, and have a good day. Quick, cut it before it blows up. Just kidding. Oh gosh, I hope it doesn't blow up. But, yeah, I mean, methane's really leaky, so it's not as leaky as hydrogen, but it's pretty leaky and when you got all the pipes that are all really brittle because of the cryogenic temperatures and you have that shock of launch and landing um i suppose it's as he said it's it's still a test vehicle so it's not uh that unusual that they would uh have some leaks and uh if you get some leaks near heat you'll get fire but hopefully they can iso that off and uh, at be able to actually examine the vehicle instead of examine the pieces of the vehicle. So, dang. Well, great job, SpaceX. I'm going to be watching closely. But, uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Um, you made it this far. <laughs> I know it wasn't the most exciting reaction. There wasn't a ton of footage to react to, but the ending was sure exciting, and I'm very happy for SpaceX and the future of space stuff. Um, I encourage all of you to consider subscribing, um, especially now at the summer seer. I'm going to be putting out content pretty regularly. Uh, I've got a lot of storm chasing stuff in the works. I uh, went out chasing two days ago, saw a couple tornadoes. Uh, I'm working on editing that. I got some outbreaks from last year that I haven't edited yet or that are close to being done but haven't put it out yet and any space stuff I'll keep reacting to that so lots and lots of stuff going on here and uh, yeah I hope uh, you all take care and keep pursuing your dreams and but don't forget to uh, stop and admire the beautiful vistas life throws your way so till next time take care <laughs>